Thank you for joining me today on Ready Aim Stamp. Today we are going to make a fun pinwheel card that stands up on its own. These are a couple of different ones that I made and it's showing off the designer series paper. Alright, let's get started. So we are going to start with a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock. We are going to cut it to at the four and a quarter mark down the length. Then we're going to cut one of those pieces to six and three quarter by four and a quarter. We're going to cut another piece at two and three quarter, actually three pieces at two and three quarter by four and one quarter. I chose these sizes because they will, um, when the card is folded down, it still fits in a regular A2 envelope as opposed to um, a six by six square envelope or other sizes that I might not have on hand. All right, so then I'm gonna take the piece of six and three quarter by four and one quarter, and I'm gonna score it at one inch Two inches three inches and four inches and I just used the inch mark over here off to the side to line up and I lined my score lines up with that Okay, so then we're going to use some of the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. And I'm going to cut that at four inches. And then I want a piece that is one and one half. And I want a piece that's two and one half inches. And I'm going to do this until I have four different pattern sets out of that paper. And I just kind of planned ahead and kind of decided what I wanted my main focus prints to be on this card because there are going to be some pieces of the DSP that are left just to on their own because sometimes I think it's a shame when we hide our designer series paper. I feel bad covering it up because it's so pretty. So this sheet I'm going to use both sides, this side and this side. Again cutting it at four inches. And then cutting off the one and a half inch sliver and the two and a half inch piece. And then I can just flip it over. There we go. Then I'm also going to take some basic white card stock and I am going to cut it at two by three and a half. And I'm gonna keep this little piece handy because I'm probably gonna use it too. All right, be right back. I almost forgot that I actually want two of these little pieces to be two by three and a half. And I think the small piece might be big enough for what I want. 
just barely. So I'm going to have to go grab a post-it note to make that work. All right. I'm going to start with stamping my images just to be done with that. So I'm using Beauty of Friendship. Now this whole tree is not going to fit on this little um, piece of cardstock and that's okay. I'm going to use cinnamon cider for my trunk. And let me have it kind of coming off the bottom of the card. And then I'm going to switch to the branches or the leaves and I am going to do the lighter part first which is the bushier part and I'm going to use, use soft succulent for this part of the tree. Sometimes I have better luck going like this. Okay. Then I can just kind of line it up how I feel looks good. And then you can see that it already kind of creates some shaded areas from the way this stamp is, which is very nice. And then I'm going to grab the dark shadowy parts of the tree and I'm going to switch to Evening Evergreen for this part. And I want to kind of, I don't want to line it up necessarily with these darker parts because I want them to still show, but maybe just kind of hanging out just off from it. Hopefully that works. Yeah, like that. So that you see all three of those shades in there. Okay. And that's all for that stamp set because I decided that I really want to use the sentiment from Flowers of Friendship that says life is better with friends like you. I like that it's a tall skinnier sheet. This one white piece I'm going to leave blank for um, writing a message on the card. And so... I'm going to ink this one up in Misty Moonlight. And then you want to watch the edges because it will make a little mess. Center that as best I can so that it's not too bad when I go to punch it. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my sticky note to extend my grip on that. And I'm going to use the Label Me Fancy Punch. Uh oh, looks like I got smeared my sentiment. Looks like I need to move it to this side. That I can slide that in there and line it up and punch it out. All right, so now I have all my little parts and pieces, and we're ready to assemble the card. So, before you get going too crazy, 
you want to get your bone folder and you want to burnish, burnish each of those one inch score marks. These are going to make the little square stand up part. I like to kind of fold it both directions and really crease it well so that it's going to be more fluid. So at this point, you could use tear and tape or you can use liquid glue. I'm sure you could use the stamp and seal. Plus, where it's a little stronger of a seal. I'm just going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm going to glue up that first flap, fold it over, and I want it to line up. Put a little pressure on it so it can seal. And then I'm just going to go to this next part. Like that. And I'm going to just, just shy of where it meets the other piece of cardstock because it needs to be able to fold easily in both directions. And we're going to just continue this around to create our pinwheel look. And that one doesn't quite stand up. So there we have a flat card, but there it stands up. Now we're going to decorate this part of it. And we're just going to take those designer series pieces that we cut and adhere them on to the different sections. Like I said, this is a great way of kind of showing the designer series paper and letting it be the star. Sometimes it's hard to pick which one is going to get covered up. section. I think I'm going to put one of my green pieces so that they're kind of separated. And once again just using the multi-purpose glue to adhere this paper. I think this one might be one of the ones that I put my tree on. Okay, switch it over and now we're back to a blue. You could do this as you could uh, stamp the trees instead of using the designer series paper and you could um, use the playful alphabet dies and you could put all four seasons and have spring going down this way. I don't know that winter would fit very well. You might have to get creative with that.
And then we're down to the last little panels. This is already fairly thick when you have all these layers. You can add some dimensionals, but if you're gonna mail it, any dimensionals or um, bling is gonna increase that price and make it so that you can't um, hand cancel that. Okay. So this part, hmm, I wonder if I should do. This part is my tree. It's gonna sit on. And then I think we'll put this one over here. And you could add more things. I just, like I said, I don't like to cover up all the designer series paper, especially if it's got a pattern on it that I really like. So then I'm going to put where you're going to write your message to the recipient. Say, I love you friend, whatever, right here. And there's our finished card. Pretty quick and simple and yet very fun. Thank you for joining me on Ready Aim Stamp.